we have another example on the board. Again, we have two sides given, side A and side C. We're supposed to find missing parts of the triangle. We have to find side B, we're supposed to find angle alpha, and we're supposed to find angle beta. Because two sides are given, I can find the third side, the length of the third side, by using Pythagorean theorem. So, always write the formula first. So we have a square plus b square is equal c square. If you want to find b, you're supposed to move a to the right side of the formula. So we're going to have b square is equal c square minus a square. In order to find b, you're supposed to square root both sides of the formula and you will obtain b is equal square root open parenthesis c square minus a square this is equal square root open parenthesis and we have 79.6 centimeters to the second power minus 56.2 centimeters to the second power. You're supposed to use the calculator and let me remind you don't try to look for centimeters on your calculator, okay? Simply enter the numbers but get used to, to the units of measure, okay? They are going to be very important especially when we are going to talk about physics and electronics. So we have B equals 56.37 centimeters. This is the length of side B, which is simply adjacent to angle alpha and opposite side to angle beta. Next, because we have the length of three sides, already on the board, we can use any trigonometric function to find angle alpha. Before we used sine alpha, this time we are going to use tangent alpha just to show you that we can use either one. So we have tangent alpha is equal a over b. In order to find angle alpha, you're supposed to find arc tangent or inverse tangent A over B, which is equal inverse tangent A, which is equal 56.2 centimeters over B, we found B, is 56.37 centimeters, okay? Centimeters and centimeters will cancel out and simply plug in these values into the calculator, okay, with the inverse tangent, and you're supposed to get the answer 44.91 degrees. This is the value of angle alpha. If you want to find angle beta, let me remind you one more time that the sum of these two angles, I mean alpha and beta, is equal 90 degrees. So if you want to find angle beta, you're supposed to simply subtract from 90 degrees angle alpha. And you are going to have 90 degrees minus 44.91 degrees. This is equal 45.09 degrees. We have length of the three sides of the triangle. We found angle alpha and angle beta. So the problem is solved.